Hey friends, it's Natasha. So today I'm going to give you a flip through of Pentime Cursive Grade 5. So I'm going to flip through this and show you what it's like. We love Pentime Cursive. This will be our um, third year using Pentime for this particular daughter. Okay, so these books are only like around $5. They're super cheap. Every year, though, I will say that the front and back cover has come off throughout the year. So, um, but you know what? For five dollars, it doesn't really matter to me <laughs> um, because you know we use them up. So uh, then we just have this "How to Slant Your Paper Pencil Position Body Position." This is in all of them, and then we have letter group charts, and then we have the cursive chart and the manuscript chart there, and then we get right into the lessons. So at the top, they write their names. There's sometimes little instructions or um, hints or information about the cursive. So at this point, they're expected to have already mastered how to do the cursive. So now they're really, you know, fine tuning it. And so then they simply in this level um, there, it looks like there's no more tracing um, and they're just doing copying of the cursive. And then down at the bottom, it says use your best manuscript writing and print the saying on the lines below. So they do have just a tad bit of manuscript writing included. And it's always something, you know, some something to do with character or something like that uplifting like this is kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. So I noticed this level specifically talks about all different types of animals. So if you have an animal lover, then this might be really good for you. So this first one, we have cottontail, and it gives some information about the cottontail. And of course, they're learning information here as they rewrite that. And so I'm just going to flip through that now that you kind of know how it goes. Um, so got all these different animals here. So all these pages are the same. Oh, I do want to point out, you'll see this later. There's Braille printed on, um, and you can't actually feel it though. It's just the symbol of the Braille at the bottom. Um, and then we have a checkpoint. So every so often you have a checkpoint where you're checking, the, you know, slant, spacing, and neatness, basically. And then so we're going to keep going. Okay, and then every so often we also have one of these pages where they copy this down into this pretty sheet, and then they can color it. And what we like to do is send it to Grandma. So, and then she hangs it on her fridge, and so that's really fun to do. And it's kind of a, you know, a keepsake. You could, you could keep a couple for yourself, too, but they're fun to send to relatives. So now we have about, oh, we're about a quarter of the way through the book. So they have that, you know, the checklist, the kind of like their showing off their work here and then we've got this writer's checklist self-checking your handwriting and then we get back into the lessons so we're going to see the lessons keep going here's another checkpoint write the bible verse this is a christian program another checkpoint here's one of those pages that you can send off this would be perfect for christmas time okay, and then we got braille so this book teaches you know the letters of braille so that's kind of cool too um my daughter will like that because um she's been very interested for a couple years now uh, in helen keller so i know she will appreciate that so again there's another checkpoint so every couple lessons i should count let's see how many lessons so we got one two three four five maybe eight or so lessons there is a checkpoint Okay, tips on good writing. There's another checkpoint Bible verse. So you see it follows pretty much the same pattern. <laughs> We've got the checkpoint, the animals, the page to send off to family or keep as a keepsake. And then we do have this slant guide too. Oh, I didn't notice this. I didn't notice there was colors in here. So how fun. Okay, and then this page is reproducible for extra practice. So if you want the same lines. How cute. There's animals. But anyways, this slant guide, so you can um, uh, cut this off and use it as a slant guide too. Anyway, so that is it. Pentime Grade 5 Cursive. And I hope this was helpful. Talk to you soon.